Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on my channel. In this video, I am going to share my experience of hiking a very famous mountain range called as Boldhead Trail in Albany, Western Australia. The Boldhead Trail is located in a national park called Torn Dirab National Park which is a home to a range of spectacular natural wonders and one of the most visited national parks in Western Australia. It is a challenging 12.5 km return traverse of the Flinders Peninsula providing stunning views of the Southern Ocean and King George sound and plenty of great photographic locations. This walk contains a lot of steep terrains, difficult sections and if you are a hardcore bushwalker you will definitely enjoy this hike. I hope the viewers will enjoy this video and without any further delay, let's start. At the entrance, there was a notice board with some information about this trail and a photo showing the range of mountains extended into the ocean. There are two different hikes and I chose the second one. It was also mentioned that the second trail is grade 5 which is a little bit effort taking and it would take 6 hours to finish. After reading some important information on that board, I started the journey. At the start of the hike, I went through a lot of bush areas with dense trees and plants. There was a boardwalk guiding us to go in which direction. It was very neat and tidy. After a few minutes of the walk, I reached a small mountain top where you can see a part of an ocean and some mountain ranges. The view was beautiful but not that great as it was a bit cloudy at that time. We started our journey again and it felt very nice to hike in that place with very beautiful scenery and the weather was cool and nice. At the far, I could see the next mountain we wanted to go through and as this trail was through mountain ranges, on our way we should climb up and down the mountains. The oceanic views and blue sky could have been so much better if there were not many rainy clouds. Anyway, we kept walking and on my way I also noticed that there were some branch pathways through which we can climb down to go to the beaches.
The path we were walking was stretched for a long way and I could be able to see that and some people walking on it as tiny subjects from so far. After nearly an hour of walking, we almost covered one third of the hike. It was so tiring, but I would say it is definitely worth doing a hike in such a beautiful place with a lot of amazing views. On our way, I also saw some youth measures installed along our path and over the hill in many places to control the soil erosion during the rainy season. The last hill along the mountain ranges where we were going was also visible at the far after some time. There were different terrains and landscape on our way. I also went through very dense areas with a lot of trees and plants which made us feel like we are hiking through jungle. There were also different kinds of flowers in different colors and in some places the path was full of white beach sand. We went past the second mountain and we were halfway through to reach the end point. When we went past the second mountain, I also noticed that the dark clouds started moving away and the clear blue sky with sunshine was visible to us. It started looking more beautiful. After passing through the bush area and dense trees, I reached the top of the second mountain. There were a lot of rocks and rock surface at the top and you can clearly see the surrounding ocean from there. There were also beautiful small islands on either side. After resting there for a bit, we started climbing up the next mountain and continued our journey. A few minutes of walking took us to a different part of that hike. That area was packed with limestones and white beach sand. It felt like desert and very beautiful landscape. 
there were also some youth measures installed there to prevent the soil erosion. On the third mountain, during the hike, I found a lot of different types of rocks. I would say that area was mainly rocks and very smaller number of trees and plants found there. As there were no allocated footpaths or walkways in that area, there were arrow marks on the rocks and ground to show us the right direction. I also stopped at some points and looked back where we started and how far we had come through. We nearly finished two by third of the walk and a few kilometers to reach to the end of the hike. We kept walking, taking small breaks for rest. After some time, I could be able to see the last mountain, which we need to climb to reach the end of the hike. During that time, almost all the dark clouds are gone and a clear blue sky with sunshine made the whole scenery look very beautiful and alluring. When I looked back, I realized we had come past a lot of mountains and it was quite an interesting hike. All we got was a few minutes and we would be able to end the hike.
This hike is a very famous and interesting hike where you walk on top of the hill surrounded by the ocean with breathtaking views. It is also very rare to find places like this on earth. Such a beautiful place. After a few more minutes, we came to the end of the hike. At the end point, on top of the hill, there was a pile of small rocks and stones put up by the people as a landmark. Totally, it was an adventurous and memorable hiking experience, which I enjoyed a lot. Hope you guys have also enjoyed watching this video. And if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on another beautiful episode. Cheers.